Hi, BJ Posnacki back with another home improvement tip. So we are out on a fourth floor balcony and this particular balcony has a product called DuraDeck. It's kind of like a pool liner. That's a thick rubber membrane that is installed right on the subfloor base. So there's been a little bit of confusion about this product, so that's why I wanted to make this video. So when you install this product, you have a little bit of a pitch, uh, kind of hard to tell here because the furniture is in the way, but there'll be a little bit of pitch, you know, from high to low, but very minimal for slip and fall hazards. So it's just minimal just to get the rainwater running off of the pitch. Now, naturally we have to seam this. So there has to be a minimum, I believe the spec sheet calls for a minimum of a one inch overlap. But now when you have an overlap, you have a little bit of a high ridge here. So water may not run completely over this area. You may get some pooling water here, as well as, and it's kind of hard to see this, but this water here runs off into a gutter. There's a gutter on the other side of this knee wall here. Well, in order to install the gutter apron, we have some flashing. We have some metal underneath here. So again, we have another high ridge where water can sit in this area. I mean, here's a perfect example. We've got some puddled water. This is still wet from yesterday's rainfall. So it's, it's not uncommon to get some water sitting underneath this area here because of, in order to put our flashings in, for the gutter. So as you can see here, oops, as you can see, we have a gutter apron and the water comes over down into the gutter and then it goes down into a downspout at the corner of the house. So you may get some pooling water on this area. It is not pitched enough where it just runs right off for slip and fall reasons. So. I hope that clarifies any misunderstanding. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe.